Hi guys, uh, Mike Rea. Welcome back to the channel today, part four of uh, the series how to create a mission and how to modify it. Today we want to talk about uh, the weapon delivery planner. So in the last episodes we talked about creating a mission, manipulate it with a mission commander, uh, create different weather scenarios and today we want to talk about uh, how to use another awesome tool from Farkas. So, um, Again, you find it on this website, weapondeliveryplanner.nl and you can download it uh, there, install it, blah, blah, blah. Easy, uh, yeah, pretty easy done. Uh, let's see what we can do with it. So I've uh, installed it already and uh, I opened it. So you have uh, some different options uh, 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 use this tool first of all so it's an uh, as the name says it's a weapon delivery planner too so actually there are different delivery types in modern uh, uh, aircrafts today like and you can do a pop-up maneuver or you can do a loft maneuver or you can detos uh, do detos maneuvers and to actually plan that maneuver with the right param parameters in the uh, mission you can use this tool and also uh, you can use this tool to update your knee boards. So you have uh, your 3D on your pilot, you have knee boards that are now clickable on 435. And uh, yeah, you can uh, actually modify the pages in it. And that's uh, the first thing we want to do. Um, actually, we start our, or we open our uh, f uh, mission that we created in the last uh, parts, which was uh, this test YouTube stuff. Uh, yeah, software loads something and then we have to decide uh, or find our package that we want to modify. So we created package 1974, uh, which was an Oka strike. Uh, and uh, now the data opened and you see a lot of stuff. So it's basically, uh, uh, yeah, you have uh, here the briefing cards with all the information, airports, frequencies, actually your whole fly plan your loadouts, your uh, uh, information about a few settings, uh, your support units, all, basically all uh, information is here available. Also, you have threats, you have weather, uh, uh, you have uh, uh, yeah, much more stuff that you can uh, also modify by yourself. So it's a crazy, crazy, crazy tool with crazy options. So you definitely uh, can take a look at that and try some stuff out uh, you have the uh, map that you can modify to your taste uh, what you want to see so you can decide what to blend in or blend out on that page it's crazy good for preparation and now we comes uh, to the uh, uh, so to the in this sections we have the different uh, uh, delivery uh, types so to say we have uh, 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 for example, a pop-up maneuver, so um, uh, so you can actually set all the parameters for a pop-up attack. And the cool thing is, when you are done with your uh, pop-up attack or your your modification, you can say save DTC, and this saves all information to your DTC. And when you do the attack, you see uh, your uh, uh, trigger points, so to say, or your, your points where you uh, have to do the uh, different, uh, um, so to say, uh, yeah, you have certain certain VRPs, pups, uh, offset one, offset two, so that's basically the trigger points for your fly path that you achieve uh, the target at the right angle uh, with the right speed and so on and so forth. So again, this is uh, more advanced, but uh, again, that's the main so to say the main uh, 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 reason why this program is here, so to say. We have much more, uh, uh, yeah, I, I don't get in detail with that, but uh, again, it's, uh, it's crazy good. And what we wanna do first again is uh, uh, say, okay, I wanna have that data cards and that coordination cards on my knee board in my mission. So I, when I wanna fly, I wanna see it. <coughs> Um, first of all, I recommend to go to settings and uh, first set, set your screen size to your monitor size. So in my case, it's full HD. And also I would recommend to, to change the saved picture size to A5, not to A4. Um, 
so uh, uh, that's uh, recommended. Um, the rest is as it was by default. Uh, let's uh, say and, and uh, okay. Um, so I'm happy with that information. I want to save it. So let's say we click on save data card. Okay. So it saves. You don't have to change anything here. It, it saves your data, your package number, uh, the mission, and so on. And it, it saves uh, to a BDC file. So I, I already created one, but uh, just to show you. Uh, the cool thing is here when you save this BDC file and make it available to, let's say, to your guys who want to participate in a flight, you know, when you present a briefing. And when you send them this BDC file, they can prepare your, uh, themselves much better before the mission starts. So if you make it available a couple of days before, so they can mm, prepare their knee boards, their charts, you know, be beforehand, before the briefing and the mission actually starts, which is pretty cool. Uh, so uh, let's say save uh, this one. And uh, after some seconds, uh, the system says, OK, this all this stuff is created. And um, let's uh, go to the direction where it was saved. So to, to show you uh, uh, a little bit better overview. So in my case, uh, all data cards are saved here. So you see here, this is our mission. Test YouTube package 19074. We are Jaguar 4 and all that data is now created. So you, so you see, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, so it's saved as a JPEG file, all is saved as JPEG files. So you have all the stuff, which is uh, 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 which is maybe helpful for your mission, even your airport diagram, where you want to take off or land. <coughs> but again, uh, how to save it to our kneeboards? So you have here a little button, which uh, stands for update kneeboard. Uh, so pretty easy. Um, by default, uh, 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 this is, uh, uh, so to say, uh, the si so each kneeboard on each side has 16 pages. And you can change it now to uh, whatever uh, uh, you prefer for, let's say, okay, I want to start on the left side with my data card left, right, I want to have the data card right, uh, um, then uh, Let's say uh, coordination card left, coordination card right, and of course I want to have the map, and I want to have, let's say, the target list. Okay. So now I click on save when I'm happy with this, and uh, then uh, it takes some couple of seconds, and then we check in the pit if this is working. So it says Kneeboard's updated, then let's go to BMS, let's open our mission, click on uh, this one, take a seat, and let's go to the 3D quick and see if this is working or not. So here we are in the pit, so right now my pilot is blended out, but I blend it now in. So and now you see uh, we have all cards uh, here uh, available, uh, which we, uh, uh, yeah, which we, uh, uh, yeah, set in the weapon delivery planner page. So this is a quite a cool, cool feature uh, for guys who want to use this often. So. Uh, even you can uh, print out your cards uh, when you, uh, yeah, or use iPads or whatever. So it's a uh, quite handy tool if you want to have a quick information and don't have it uh, on your knee board or whatever available, but you uh, have or use as a, uh, yeah, uh, reminder for stuff. So that's, uh, yeah, basically it. Um, again, uh, check this out, this tool, uh, it's quite handy. Um, if you have more questions, again, as always, ask it in the uh, uh, comment section or in the forum. And uh, uh, yeah, have fun. And um, in the next few episodes, we want to talk about more flying. So let's see you next time. Bye bye.